In a video posted online Monday, Raman Pratasevich confessed to organizing mass protests. His supporters, including exiled opposition leader Svetlana Tsikhanouchkaya, say it was a forced confession. He said that he's being treated locally, but he's clearly beaten and under pressure. There is no doubt that he may be tortured. The US-based Committee to Protect Journalists, which has called for his immediate release, says it is not able to verify the time or circumstances under which the video was recorded. The 26-year-old Pratasevich was detained Sunday after the Ryanair passenger jet he was travelling on was forced to land in Belarus as it flew over its airspace. The plane was en route to Lithuania from Greece. Belarusian authorities claimed, without providing evidence, that there was a bomb threat and sent a fighter jet to intercept the plane. Pratasevich and a Russian friend, Sofia Sapega, were arrested on arrival. Three other passengers also disembarked in Minsk. They are believed to be Belarusian security agents who were tracking Pratasevich. I think it's, it's a, um, it sends a horrific message to every enemy of every dictatorship around the world that you can literally be plucked out of the sky no matter where you are. European Union leaders expressed outrage following a summit in Brussels Monday. This is an attack on freedom of expression and this is an attack on European sovereignty. And uh, this outrageous behaviour needs a strong answer. Therefore, um, the European Council decided that there will be additional sanctions on individuals that are involved in the hijacking, but this time also on businesses and economic entities that are financing this regime. NATO's Secretary General echoed the condemnation. This is a state hijacking and demonstrates how the regime in Minsk attacks basic democratic rights. Belarusian officials deny forcing the plane to divert. The European Union urged airlines to reroute around Belarus, and Belarusian airlines will also be banned from EU airspace. Ultimately, um, that's not going to move uh, Lukashenko because he's got his man now. Uh, European Union in particular, but in the United States as well, uh, don't really want to completely uh, antagonize uh, Belarus or lose it altogether and push it into uh, you know, Moscow's arms. Pratasevich fled to Poland in 2019 and claimed political asylum. He ran the popular Nexta and Nexta Live channels on the social media site Telegram. Since the protest began in August after a disputed election, Belarusian authorities have arrested an estimated 35,000 people. There is widespread evidence of torture. The, the Telegram channel by kind of two very young uh, journalists in, uh, in Poland, in exile in Poland already, suddenly became that kind of uh, linchpin, uh, seemingly, which was directing all the protests. U.S. President Joe Biden has asked his advisers to come up with options so those responsible for the incident can be held to account. The United Nations has also called for a full, transparent and independent investigation. Henry Ridgewell for VOA News, London.